okay now we finish the ui development now we can start coding so for working with the retrofit you need three things first one is a model class second one is an instance of retrofit and final one is an interface that contain methods to communicate with the api so first we can create our model class so right click the package and create a new java class i name it as image class in this class we need to declare some variables first variable is title now specify some annotation for this variable specify the json property here for title the json property is title now declare a second variable it is image now specify the json property here the json property is image so these two variables are for uploading the image now we need another variable for handle the response from server now add the annotation for it okay now we need to specify the getter method for the final variable response we need the getter method for only this variable response so this is our model class our model class contain three variables title image and response so these two variables are for uploading the image and final variable response is to receive the response from server and we have a getter method for the final variable response so this is our model class now we need to create a class that return an instance of retrofit so create a new java class i name it as api client i'll declare some variables here first variable specify the base url specify the base url here uh, in our local host we have a folder called upload image the folder name is image upload we have to check it so this is the folder image upload so this is our base url now specify some variables for retrofit i name it as retrofit now specify a method that return an instance of retrofit Here the return type is an instance of retrofit. I name the method as get API client. Here check some condition. If retrofit is null, in that case we have to initialize that instance. New retrofit builder first specify the base url here the base url available on this variable base url now specify the converter factory converter factory here we are going to use the json converter factory and call the create method on it and finally you have to call the build method so from this method we have to return an instance of retrofit So this class will return an instance of retrofit. Now we need to create an interface for the API call. So create a new Java class. 
change the current into interface now specify the interface name I name it as API interface so here I'm going to specify a method that communicate with the API so here specify the method name into upload image and specify the return type of this method so here the expected output is an object of the image class image class is our model class now we need to specify the annotation so here we are going to make a post request so specify the annotation for that now specify the endpoint of the URL uh, we can check our endpoint so our endpoint is upload.php so specify that one so here we need to pass some body to the request we have to pass the image title and image to the server so here we perform a post request so here I am going to send the image and title in the form of field so use the annotation at the field specify the field first one is title now specify the value for it and second one is the image so specify the annotation at the field specify the JSON property here it is image now specify value for it image so here we send the data in the form of a form data so you have to add one more annotation for sending form data you need to add one more annotation called form URL encoded so this is our interface the interface contains only one method upload image so here the return type the expected output from the expected response from server is an object of image class and here we we send two fields first one is title and second one is image